there's a revolution sweeping through the NHS, and Hereford is leading it. The billions of pounds that primary care trusts currently spend commissioning care from hospitals is being handed over to GPs. In Herefordshire, a consortium of GPs is one of the new pathfinders, groups of family doctors that will test the new arrangements. GP commissioning takes responsibility away from managers sitting in PCTs and gives it to doctors in their consulting rooms. The change of emphasis that we're looking at with uh, GP-led commissioning is that really you're taking commissioning much closer to the front line. Um, you've got clinician talking to clinician, uh, primary talking to secondary care, and you're looking at problems um, together and trying to come up with solutions there first, rather than the problem sitting amongst managers for a prolonged period of time before the clinicians uh, can have a think about how we can best solve the problems. Actually, GP is a well placed to look at how resources should be allocated, and also they're ideally placed to look at the quality of services that our patients are receiving. We get direct feedback from our, our patients telling us what they thought of this service or that service, and that needs to inform commissioning so that you can make, um, make the decisions. It's perhaps not surprising that Andy Watts' consortium has been made a pathfinder. It's been involved in practice-based commissioning for three years, and Herefordshire has had a joint local authority and PCT organisation commissioning healthcare for two years. We've worked a lot in the last few years to try and build the collaboration with clinicians, um, to build the collaboration with our partners in the local authority. And the fact that um, we have that relationship is a good foundation, but also that we're working together in the same place, so we've got the same Herefordshire boundary, means that we can have good productive local decision making. And GPs being much more close to the coalface can actually be help in a much more informed way how we shape our services going forward. So what does Pathfinder status mean? Abolishing PCTs and giving their powers to family doctors is a bold experiment. But will it work? My understanding of Pathfinder status is that you will be learning on behalf of the wider GP body. But you, know, you can't imagine that all 52 Pathfinders are all going to have the same strategy and some will be more successful than others. And I think the whole point of the Pathfinder process is that we can learn from each other. Uh, and share that, that, share that learning and you know, pass on to each other what bits work and what bits don't. And yeah, one of the two of us probably will uh, muck it up. Uh, but you know, if we can learn from that, all well and good. The new Pathfinder Consortium will need to continue its partnership with the Joint Health Organisation to ensure they work efficiently together while the PCT's role is phased out. It's a challenging time of transition. We have to recognise that um, a consortium of GPs is not the same as the PCT, and that's got to be quite clear. But what was very evident that when we had all our GPs representatives in and explained to them what the white paper was, was, uh, was, was saying, you know, the look on their faces of, my word, it's every bit as we feared, um, I think it's going to be a, a strange and brave new world for many of them as well. So I think we need to hold each other's hands together and work. Obviously, um, uncertainty is never a good place to be. But again, our responsibility as a PCT is to try and help the whole organisation and the GP consortia um, be fit for purpose going forward. So we're working very closely with our staff, uh, trying to help the transition um, as we move forward. There's been... Quite a lot of work done in the county over the last couple of years to bring health and social care services closer together. And we certainly wouldn't want to lose that learning and that work as we go forward into GP-led commissioning. Um, it, you know, from a GP's perspective, it's impossible to separate the social and the health needs for, for patients in that one affects the other and vice versa. So you need to be talking about the social needs in order to meet the health needs. Building on that willingness to actually, you know, to do what we can for our people, a maturing population in a large rural area, I think there is that recognition amongst GPs of the problems that it has. And that's why, you know, we welcome the fact that we've got the new Pathfinder uh, status here. And that I think, we, you know, we've got it off to a good start. We've, we're building on that culture of collaboration and cooperation, um, which I think will be a marvellous foundation for it. It is going to be challenging. Um... But I think it's the right thing to do. I think it's the right way forward. Uh, that there 
has been a bit of a disconnect between decision making and the front line, between decision making and the needs of patients. And if this can bring those two closer together, then it is the right thing to do. So I think it, it falls to us to make sure that that works. So I think if we can get this right, then it'll be good for the health service. And actually, that's what, I, that's what we're in it for. Thank you.